True honor to be here, your highness, fellow dignitaries, educators, parents, students, members of the audience. I want to start by telling you a story. Hi, my name is Michael Horn. My mission is to build a world in which all individuals can build their passions, fulfill their human potential, and live a life of purpose. And disruptive innovation transforms that by bringing it out into the world things that are far more affordable, convenient, accessible, simple, such that it can bless the lives of many people who never could have accessed the original thing. That's not the world that we're living in today. And it's why I work with a range of education organizations, helping them build a more learner-centered future for education. AI, broadly speaking, is the kernel, a technology enabler, if you will, that creates the opportunity for disruptive innovation. Whether that's in the world of K-12, higher education, corporate learning, and more, my mission spans all realms and across the world to try to help build that world in which all individuals can fulfill their human potential. They're still responding to this macro uh, system that is built around sorting and, you know, averages and what percent got proficient uh, and, and these markers that are not optimized around each individual. I've written seven books on the future of education through the think tank that I founded, the Clayton Christensen Institute, through the work that I do as a lecturer at the Harvard Graduate School of Education. And so this is a screenshot from the Khan Academy where it shows actually the individual learning trajectories of each child and how they can adapt and change for each of those different trajectories. Through my role as a speaker and advisor to dozens of organizations around the globe. I'm speaking with Michael Horn, who's the co-founder of the Clayton Christensen Institute and the author of a new book called Blended. Thanks for being with me, Michael. Thanks for having me. I spend a lot of time as a board member advising organizations. I've done consulting. I advise college presidents. And I do several podcasts on the future of higher education at Future U and historically class disrupted on K-12. What's happened with AI, it's been like a big bomb in the education system where it kind of broke education or it is breaking it where people are like, what do we do with term papers? What do we do in a world where kids can cheat and ask chat GPT things? And we think we have a solution here where not only can we mitigate any of those risks and, and make it safe, uh, but we can dramatically accelerate and do things that would have been utopian, um, that would have seemed utopian, honestly, even a year ago. In addition to bringing it all together with the entrepreneurs doing the most cutting edge work in education, with the educators rethinking how we organize learning, with those employers that are rethinking how we build humans up in our organization so that they can be doing work that is living in purpose with what they want to be doing. My sense is in corporate America right now to really unlock growth and mobility for their current employees and that they see this as really mission critical in some ways. All that and more is the work that I do. Mm -hmm.